Hi, my name's Barry Belcher, and I'm a decorative artist, entertainer, and kind of a cook. I actually have this um, online uh, show that I put on YouTube that I started about four years ago, and I have a cooking show, I, uh, I design and decorate, and I kind of have a knack for creating things that, you know, I typically find around the house, or if I've had it before, I can mix it if I'm cooking. So I've put a few clips together that I'd like you to see, so I hope you enjoy and maybe get inspired to... Uh, be a dumpster diver too. I'm going to be painting and creating a wine cellar right here in my very own basement. Kathy and I have this really, really cool space downstairs in the basement that's not really even used. It even has this really great stone wall that's part of the foundation. So I'm using that as my muse of an old stone, old world style winery. <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to paint some playing cards on the dining room wall here. Just to kind of give that feel as a bachelor pad. It's going to be kind of cool. So come with me and I'll show you how to do it. Vine wreaths with the muscadine vines that grow in their backyard. I'll split our circle. Absolutely free. I didn't pay one dime for this, other than the ribbon that was bought probably three years ago. But all this stuff I found in the backyard. I made something out of nothing. Okay, so basically just get you a little pencil and take the tip of the can strip first and just wrap it around the pencil. Now remember, be careful because I can't cut you. But my skin's like leather now, so I don't think it really matters. But I spray painted the entire thing with gold paint, and then after that dried, we put, oh, well, actually, put some, we just put some black paint on it, on the edges, and wipe it off. And voila, you have a beautiful piece of furniture that costs $35. So here is an interesting wreath that you can make right straight from your home. If you have some old books that are falling apart, those are the best because the paper is already aged. It's got that yellow look. I'll roll those like this. Roll them, uh, these, uh, roll them up just like that. And then I just found some holiday Christmas. Okay, so I just finished making a Christmas ornament. Um, and I've actually made the uh, toilet paper ring, the comb that's inside of it. I made a really interesting ornament, and look how beautiful it looks in my Christmas tree. Who would have thought that that came from my bathroom? So, this was actually my inspiration piece for the whole house. Shade time, little green bees to again tie in the color theme here. So, just something like this really dressed up the chandelier. And I hung these other little green beads on the, the little hooks here. Christmas ornament hooks and wire the beads to where they fold out and just hook it around the hook.
Welcome to Dirty Dishes. My name is Barry. And I'm Corey. And today we're going to talk about one night stands and overnight dishes. We've got some really great dishes lined up for you guys. You know what? The best type of one night stand is one that gets a little sticky. Welcome to Dirty Dishes. My name is Barry. And I'm Corey. And today we are making open face sandwiches and we're going to be talking about two face friends. Because Southerners love their home But the real reason why I thought it would be a good like tomato or a good way is because that is the Southern thing. Southerners tend to be a little too big. That is fantastic. I mean, where's my mother so I can slap her? That was so good. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs> oh. See, that's how good I am. <laughs>